How's everyone doing? Welcome. Five minutes of faith and fitness. We are going to see how we can get fit physically and spiritually to serve, not self, but to serve others. And today I was thinking about uh, growing up, I'm just going to date myself, but remember Jordash jeans, Sergio Valente jeans, all these designer jeans? Well, you know by their emblem, you know that by their trademark, who they are, right? We uh, maybe we're born with, uh, I know I was born with a little mole right here. That's our birthmark, right? Maybe you have a birthmark on you. Some of us do, some of us um, hide them, right? But um, you know by the trademark, fit to serve. We have a trademark becoming fit physically and spiritually to serve others, right? That's our trademark, our logo. Um, I am a big believer in what God wants us to do as believers and understand when we're walking um, in this world. By by this, we um, the world will know that we're his disciples. What's that trademark? What is that thing that separates us that we don't have to speak about it, but it is how we wear it, how we walk in it every single day. This is what it says, John 13, 34 through 35. This is a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. There it is. All will know that you're my disciples if you have love for one another. Not if you say that you love me, right? That's great. We we say that we love uh, or we believe in God's word. But here's the thing. Loving your neighbors, loving those that are around you, like Jesus loves you, right? Loving other people when it it hurts. It doesn't feel right. You don't want to love other people in, in that fashion. Maybe they've hurt you. Maybe they wronged you. Maybe they've done things against you. But you know what? We are uh, examples, ambassadors for Christ. And this is our trademark. That's how the world identifies us by the agape love, the love that we get to show others in how we walk every single day, right? This is this wasn't a new commandment. It's a new commandment for well, for what Jesus is telling them. It's it's new because he's leaving them. He's going to the cross and he's setting an example of the love that he's actually going to show them on the cross. He's going to the cross in this sacrificial love that he's going to show them that no one's ever done before is giving up their life for so that we would have life. So this example that Jesus shows, the love that kept them on the cross, he's showing us as believers that, you know what? This is how others are going to know that you're my disciples, by the love that you show other people. Watch me. Watch what I'm going to go do. He's saying, right? It's happening. So how do we do that every single day? Um, it's a, it's a battle, right? But listen, if God is for us, who can be against us? And he gives us Holy Spirit power, the same resurrection power that raised him from the grave. That power is ours. So let's walk in it and love those who are around us, even when it hurts, even when it doesn't make sense, even, right? Dot, dot, dot. God loved all the way to the cross. And even on the cross, he still continued to love. Look to the cross. Look in God's word. Continue to let his, the, his spirit work through you. Pray for those who are the, who are the unlovable. Because God has a message that he wants you to share by the example that you show the world. They can see by not how you walk, but how you talk and how you present yourself in line with Jesus. The flow, the conduit that flows in you throughout others will be the great example. God bless. Go out and show that love to the world. Hey.